Hi there, so welcome back to uh, Environmental Geology, and this is a video that you're going to need to do Lab 5, where we're experimenting with looking at glaciers. And for the first part of this lab, what we're going to be doing is using this material called GAC that I happen to have made up a little bit of here. It's this sort of uh, solid-ish material, but that starts to act as a liquid as it flows. And so you can see it's fairly solid, you know, I can slap it around and things like that. But if I leave it in one place for a while and let it sort of sit on my hands, I get this dripping effect. And so this is going to be very similar to what we see with glaciers. We're going to use this to model glaciers and talk about how they move. So I'm going to put that back for a second. Um, I'll try to show you everything you need in this video. If you get curious for some reason though, and you happen to want to create some of this on your own, you only need a few simple supplies. So what you need is some Elmer's glue. I bought a lot of it because I wanted to make a really large uh, amount of this GAC material, but all you need really is about four ounces. And then you need some borax as well. This is usually found in your laundry detergent aisle, and unfortunately you usually can't buy sizes smaller than this, so uh, just buy a big one. You'll only need about a teaspoon. So to make this GAC, all you need to do is take four ounces of the Elmer's glue, mix it with four ounces of warm water, and then in a separate container, take four ounces of warm water and mix it with the borax. And then lastly, slowly pour the borax mixture, the borax fluid, into the glue while you're sort of constantly stirring it. And you'll start to see this sort of stringy effect uh, form in the GAC. And that's what's really creating these strong, or these fairly weak interior bonds that allow the GAC to flow. These are hydrogen bonds, much like we see in glaciers. So without further ado, I'll take you over to our experimental setup. Um, in case you didn't know, I'm joining you again from lovely Colorado this time, so you'll get to see a little bit of my backyard out here. Um. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to zoom in on this uh, pretend mountain valley we have here, where I've got a piece of PVC here that's marked at every five centimeters with a little marking so that you can track the motion of this GAC as it moves through this pretend valley. So just to give you a sense of what that's gonna look like, I'll pick up the GAC here and place it in the valley, try to get it nice and distributed, get as much of it as I can off my fingers. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the flow of this GAC as uh, time goes on. And one thing I'm gonna do that you'll see is I'll make some markings on the GAC with this pen, so you might see different points on the glacier that move at different rates. And so as you look at the next few videos where we show a zoomed in picture of this that you can make some computations off of, what you're gonna wanna do is look at the different velocities. We'll run two experiments on this GAC. One is just gonna be the GAC in the tube as it is right now, and the other one is gonna be with some water injected at the base, and we're gonna see the effect of that.